This is a tutorial of how to use the Intuition Viewer to view the CT scans for the radiology lab. The first thing is to download the appropriate CT. In this case, we have the normal chest CT scans downloaded in a zip format. And so go ahead and unzip the file by right clicking on it and saying extract all and choose where to extract it. After the file has extracted, go ahead and open up the folder and uh, click here to start. Click OK on the warning. Once inside the program, you will see the uh, patient list here. And these are anonymized scans of normal subjects. And uh, so click on uh, patient number one here name chest CT and you will see that there is one series that pops up here for this patient. Go ahead and double click on the scan. This is the typical layout for a CT scan in the viewer. We have the source images here in the axial plane. Now remember in radiology we view the patient from the feet. So the patient's right is going to be on the left side of the image and the patient's left on the right side. Anterior is to the top of the image and then posterior with the patient laying on the table. Now uh, there, are, there is a coronal plane and a sagittal plane of the same patient and these are just reconstructed from the axial planes. Now there's an additional window in the top right corner of the viewer and we're going to ignore that for now. We're going to go through some of the basic ways to interact with these images. Let's start with the axial images. Uh, to make it bigger, any of these, you can double click on the image and it will fill the screen. Now there are a couple of ways you can scroll. One is to have a mouse with a scroll wheel uh, where you can scroll up and down on the patient. The other one is the uh, up and down keys or you can hold the left mouse button down and drag up and down and that goes uh, a lot quicker uh, scrolling through many images uh, very quickly. Now if you right click you get several different options window level, pan, zoom and slice. And slice is the scrolling that we just did. Now let's click zoom which will allow you to zoom in on the image and zoom back out using the left mouse button. Another option is the window and level selection which lets you window and level the image depending on what type of tissue you want to better evaluate. Now there are a few standard presets for window and leveling which are down in the right hand corner. Preset 1 is typically used for soft tissues. Preset 4 is for the lung window you can see the lung swell and then preset 5 is for osseous structures you can see the spine and the ribs really well here now i usually keep mine on the slice and lets you go up and down real easy now if you want a window from here as opposed to right clicking you can hold the right and the left mouse button in at the same time while dragging and that will let you window and once you find what you want you're back to being able to just move with a slice up and down. Now let's say you have a structure you want to view in three different planes. What you can do is you go to that structure. For example, uh, here we have the aortic valve. And if you want to see that in the sagittal and coronal plane, you could double click anywhere to make the image small again. And then use the crosshairs to move it over to the aortic valve and the other two images will automatically align to that structure. And so here you can see the aortic valve. You can uh, obviously zoom in again on this image if you'd like to. And the same thing for the sagittal plane. Zoom in. Another more efficient way of localizing something in all three planes is to hold down the Alt key and then left click on the structure of interest. So let's click on the spine here in the axle and you can see it aligns on the coronal and sagittal. Let's click on the rib or we could go to the sagittal and click on the scapula and again it will realign in the other planes. 
Now, if you're uh, cruising through the CT and you're trying to identify some anatomy and you happen to uh, you know, rotate the image, both here in the axial and uh, coronal plane, so it's off axis and uh, it's totally windowed wrong, uh, what you can do, you can always return back by resetting the image and then uh, go into your preset, soft tissue, lung or bone, and uh, we'll get you back. Alternatively, you can always go back here to the patient list and double click on the chest CT again. Now this is the end of the introduction of how to interact with the Intuition Viewer and view CT scans. Uh, I'd recommend you practice uh, viewing things in three different planes and identify the structures that you encounter during Anatomy Lab.